Live from Las Vegas, it's The Q, covering HPE Discover 2017, brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Welcome back, everyone, live here in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE's exclusive coverage for three days at Hewlett Packard Enterprise Discover 2017. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. Day two, winding down, a lot of action happening, a lot of, a lot of news, a lot of technology announcements, a lot of groundbreaking stuff. And our next guest is Naveen Mittal, Director, Products and Solutions Marketing at the Data Center Infrastructure Group. Uh, welcome to theCUBE, good to see you again. Good to see you, John. Um, thanks for coming on. I mean, a lot of stuff going on under the hood. We heard from Susan about the servers with the security chip and the silicon. You guys got flex fabric, you got all this capacity. It's like really kind of like the new sports cars coming out with Gen 10. <laughs> under the hood, a lot of action happening. What's going on with the relationships? We're hearing a partner-centric message here at uh, Discover this year. Yeah. Give us the update. Yeah, so first of all, absolutely spot on on the whole Gen 10 servers. We are there to crush it. We, are, we will get the market right. Um, but let's talk about networking, right? Because that's something that actually combines everything. When you talk about server storage and networking, and our customers, as you very well know, can't just give it servers alone. So um, if you may or may not remember, uh, six months back we announced this strategic relationship with Arista Networks where we basically said that they're our preferred network mm -hmm. provider going forward. Yeah, we forward. had them on in uh, London. Okay, yeah. great, yeah. So it's been going great so far. Um, you know, the joint go-to-market has not been just go-to-market, but it's also been reference architecture designs. It's been uh, creation of reference architectures with our server teams, uh, especially mission-critical servers, SAP, um, HANA, think, talk about it, so. Uh, Give us the update, what's new with the partnership? What's the progress in six months? Yeah, so six months, our sales teams are completely trained and stoked you know, to go out and sell there. Our customers are very excited with the partnership. They are asking for not only HP servers and storage solutions, but of course the Arista products also. Because now they have a choice of products. If they are existing Flex Fabric customers, they already work very well with HPE, but now uh, with the bringing in of the Arista switches, you can actually get the software-defined layer end-to-end. -end. And you get the high-end covered, a lot of service provider opportunities. What's the big takeaway in the marketplace from your standpoint? As you look at what's going on here at uh, Discover 2017, and looking at what you do with Arista, at the networking layer, a lot of interesting things are going on at the network layer. A lot of open source projects, sure. a lot of new software. What's, the, what's your take on what's going on, on uh, at the network layer and in the cloud and whatnot? Yeah, so at the um, open source has always been an integral part of HP's DNA, as you very well know, right? We have been a great contributor, whether you talk about Helion or you talk about you know, Open Switch, which was happening last year. Um, customers are looking for business outcomes, right? They don't really care whether it's open source or um, closed source at, at one point. We are all about outcomes and business uh, solutions. So we, we bring in the best of breed networking, along with best of breed servers and storage, combine them to give a solution that we can offer to our uh, customers. Whether they are in the cloud-centric journey, they've already made the transition to cloud, or they are you know, trying to tackle with legacy. So what are some problems. examples of some of the solutions? Yeah, so the SAP HANA solution reference architecture that we did recently. Not many people know about this, but the HANA cloud actually runs on the Arista switches already. Now think about the power that our customers can get if we can bring that flexibility and agility that SAP uses internally in their cloud into the enterprise data centers today. So that's the reference architecture which we already are, have. Okay, and in that, in that example, it's, it's so the core switch is Arista, and what do you guys bring to the table? Everything else around the it? Service and storage, yes. Uh. And don't forget the point next consulting, right? Services which ties everything together so that uh, customers can actually utilize not only our products and solutions, but the entire journey. And, and, and in that solution, for example, the, the HANA, when you mentioned point next consulting, what specifically are, are there, is the services organization doing? Is it tuned for SAP HANA? Is there some magic sauce that's sprinkled in? How does that all work? Yeah, so uh, great point. And so the point next consulting, of course, makes a point to understand where you are currently in your journey, right? Depending on where you are, the SAP HANA cloud solution may not be a perfect fit. Um, in this example that I, meant, that I mentioned about SAP HANA itself, we just wanted to highlight the fact that if you are ready to move to the cloud like Agility into your private data center, we have the solution ready with you and you can deploy it in your private data center. So your journey might begin with Point Next, it might begin with you know, coming directly to HPE. Uh, All right, so here's, the, here's the, the hard million dollar, billion dollar question, I say. Yeah. Not million, billion dollar. <laughs> it is a billion dollar. Trillion dollar question. Um, 
well, the true, true, true private cloud TAM is 260 billion, right. so that's not including hybrid. But Meg's up there. Well, I heard it's 250 billion based on one of the reports that Wikibon put in. The recently. true private cloud, <laughs> groundbreaking again, another, another great Wikibon research that no one else is doing. There you go. Again, that number is legit. That's basically saying that on-prem isn't going away anytime soon. I think this plays beautifully to what you guys are doing. But the question is this, how are you going to simplify it as customers are transforming their operating model yes. to cloud-like? Yes. How are you going to simplify it with, this, with this, these relationships? Yeah, so for that, um, to talk about simplicity, I need to take a step up, right? Because you, talk, you, sh you saw Meg talk about the hybrid IT uh, strategy, and then we you also talked about the Gen 10 server announcement where we talk about um, control and agility and security. That's where the Arista portfolio fits in squarely across the hybrid IT and the Point Next Consulting. Because now you're talking about the security solutions being end-to-end -end from server storage and networking while giving you the agility that you know, you're already accustomed to in some cases from VMware and some of the network virtualization solutions and having the flexible capacity control from our financial services offering. So from a customer standpoint, no real change. It's kind of like, it, it's enabling them to subtract it away. I'm just trying to get to, on the network side, how, what's your policy? A lot of policies going on, a lot of automation opportunities. Yes. What's going on there? Yeah, so I don't know if you know about the product called distributed cloud networking that we offer, <laughs> where it is really allowing the policies that are defined at the application level and translating that into the underlying infrastructure level. So think about this, in a typical data center, you tend to have silo, silos where you have a server mm -hmm. silo, networking silo, and a storage silo. And from the time the application developer defines the policies and the requirements from an application standpoint to reach the end customer, you would have to go through these silos in order to you know, provision those. Mm -hmm. With bringing in distributed cloud networking and its integration with Arista networks, um, those policies get automatically deployed. And guess what, it's a heterogeneous environment. So you can actually mix and match existing workloads along with existing infrastructure as well. And, and what happens to the IT pros that used to be associated with those different silos? I mean, what are they all doing today? Yeah, they get to do much better things, right? Because IT is now transitioning from a cost center to a revenue generator. Right? And it's not about firing people, right? Let me make sure I clarify this. It's about reutilizing your resources so that they can now become more productive with the time that they have. I don't know about you, if I'm done at 5 p.m., you could either go back to your home, and I'm, I'm sure you have families, or you mm -hmm. could spend time figuring out the next network problem that you're having in the data center. That's where, that's where the true agility comes out. That's where the true economic savings come out. That's where software programmable infrastructure works. People can get their weekends back. That's really kind of like, I mean, a lot of time spent on mundane tasks, either chasing down some sort of automated provisioning, yes. or I mean, uh, manual provisioning, or configuring stuff. Mm -hmm. What's the big game changer? Is it machine learning uh, that you were seeing there? What's, how do you guys see that technology? What's the enabler? Yeah, so I think at the end of the day, customers are looking for a stack, end-to-end -end stack, mm -hmm. that a co one company can bring to them with the flexibility of choosing every layer within the stack. <laughs> so we at HP, of course, are very uh, focused on openness. Right? Mm -hmm. So the new HP IT stack actually has all the way from applications to computes to server, servers to storage to networking, whether you're talking about Nimble or you know, the SimpliVity acquisition uh, or the ProLine servers that we have, to the underlying networking layer. And in this case, we are contending that the Arista, flex, uh, Arista switching is the fabric which brings in best of breed but you're free to choose the other layers of yeah. the stack as well. And, and how do you differentiate you know, in the marketplace, in the competition where the customer says, oh, I should have bought you guys HPE and Arista instead of whatever, vendor X, Y, or Z. What do you tell them? Yeah, so um, the famous thing that I tell is you are either in the legacy mode and stuck with a typical vendor, you know, we all know what the name begins with, I won't mention it here, uh, where they used, where they try to keep selling you newer and newer gear with newer operating systems, or you go with a vendor that is open, as a DNA of being open, will hold your hand till you actually get deployed in the data center and give you the choice that you need in the data center to be successful. Certainly making things easier has been key. Nimble yes. and SimpliVity really kind of put the design right. at the center and then brought software right. in. That changes the game. That's more right. cloud-like. That's certainly very DevOps friendly. Absolutely, and it doesn't even stop there, right? If you take the conversation up higher up to the virtualization or the container layer, um, discussion. When you start yeah. talking about the agility that containers bring into the world, then it's the completely game changers. How do you ensure that the network traffic that an application sitting on a container somewhere in one of the VMs or on a bare metal server can be translated and tra traced all the way back to the switch port and ensuring that nothing goes down? And that's the whole ethos of infrastructure as code is to actually make it programmable. Yeah. So the app guys don't have to get in the, under the hood. 
yes, that, that programmable is taking care of the agility side of the house. Yeah. What I'm talking about is visibility and security so that if something does go wrong, yeah. we all are humans, something can go wrong, even in programming, you, know, you need to pinpoint and detect and create and automate and fix issues as fast as possible. That's and great. there are some fundamental, fundamental underlying tenets of the Arista operating system which allows us to do that. And of course the secret sauce that we add on top of that is the combination with the server and storage. Naveen, thank you for coming into theCUBE and sharing the insights. Final question for you. Yeah. What's your takeaway from this year at Discover? What's the vibe? What's your personal, you know, uh, obviously we hear the messaging, simplifying IT, hybrid IT, and uh, intelligent edge. Outside of the, the core themes, what's your big takeaway? Yeah, I think I'm super excited after me me meeting our customers and partners here. We, we are back in the game. We are here to take the market by storm and we will be doing it. All right. Here breaking it down and networking, Arista relationship and all the great stuff in the networking live. Naveen, thanks so much. It's theCUBE live coverage thanks for having from me. Las Vegas and HPE 2017. We'll be back with more live coverage after this short break. <laughs>